Hey guys, KRX Hippie here with another video. This time I'll be doing my third shift card update. I'm going to take a look at shift cards that are currently only available in the Kangtoy and Old Gashapon format. So in this video, I'll be, I'll be taking a look at shift Road Winter and shift Amazing Circus. So, start, we'll take a look at Road Winter, which is a candy toy shift card. So, this is cast in clear icy blue plastic and is based on a snowcat, which is a type of Explorate a type of exploration vehicle meant for heavy, uh, basically Arctic or Antarctic areas. So it's not the kind of thing that you would see typically in towns or cities. So starting with the front, you've got some divided windows painted in metallic light blue. Got some engine vents painted in black, then some caution stripes that are done in an upward arrow pattern painted in red. On the outside, we see some molded details like these molded on windows, as well as faux caterpillar treads, as these vehicles need treads to cross over the snow. See that this has six black wheels, so it's designed for type technic. And the molding of threads goes even all the way down to the bottom. On the back, we can see those cotton stripes again, painted in red. An interesting feature is this kind of see-through window here, which I let you see inside the shift car. And as you can see, it is mostly hollow on the inside. It seems that this is more designed for a potential deluxe version, where you'd be able to see the engine parts inside, which are actually the spring mechanism the spring mechanism for the lever part down here. Then on top you have this nice mold on ice pattern that's painted in light metallic blue or metallic light blue. As you can see because of the way it's molded it, refra it refracts light very well when you move it around like that. So that adds a little bit of extra playability to it. And it is just a detail. Flipping it around, we can see its symbol, which is a snowflake. A snowflake. And of course it can roll. Though in mine it has a... Uh, or at least it seemed to have had squeaky wheels. Yeah, there you can see that the front wheels are the front wheels are a bit squeaky. Then you have Amazing Circus, which is a Gashapon shift car. This is cast in clear white plastic, and has kind of a mixed concept. The front part is based off a clown car, with it being designed after a clown face. In the back here, you can see some green clown hair with eyebrows to match, a little clown hat on top, painted in metallic red, two headlights here, a couple of gold clown eyes, a little painted clown nose here in red, then a smiling clown mouth here in the bottom, with pink lips, and the inside of the mouth being red, even with a molded on tongue. So it's got a diamond pattern around the wheels, has six clear red wheels, also being designed to be used with Type Technic. The back part is kind of a play on the concept of a traveling circus, as it's based on a circus tent. You can see uh, various designs here. Here is where the various points of the tent would be. The top of the tent here, which goes to a single point in the center, has got various painted details in red along the sides and on the top. And flinging around, we get its symbol, which is a tilted clown face. So like with the last update, I'll be only using these with the drive driver and the brake gunner, as I'll be saying their functionality with the mock driver for a separate video. So since these are both designed for type technic, I've preset the drive driver to that. 
So first up will be Roadwinder, which we'll use to tie our coke on. This script drives with a tire that can has a disc that can send out freezing winds so cold they can actually turn an enemy into a solid chunk of ice. Or rather freeze them in a solid chunk of ice. Next we can shift up. One more time. And then he sets. from there. Show it with the brake gunner. Road winter. And the execution. Next is Amazing Circus. This is another shift card that hasn't been used yet in the show, but on its own has the power to create actual performance stages, including lights, decorations, and special effects. Next we'll shift up. And he sucks. And then we'll use this with the brake gunner. And use the execution. And there you have it. And so with that, I've co covered the basic six Tyra Kogan shift cards for Type Speed, Type Wild, and Type Technic. I mean, this is potentially my last shift card update. So, as usual, these are a pair of very nice shift cards. 
again, the designs are very unique and very creative. And they have new sounds for the drive driver and brake enter, and as I'll show, they also have new sounds for the mock driver. Now, what, what I have to say about these is, for right now, I would suggest, you know, get them right now while you can, as I'm not certain whether or not they'll make deluxe version of these that'll be released later. As it's kind of hard to say from their track record with this kind of stuff. Whereas with Conrad Forza, where they kind of started doing this, they there were several switches that did not get technical deluxe releases. However, for the Gashapon releases of those switches, they came with metallic, you know, glittery stickers, so that you could replicate the look of a deluxe switch. Then with Conrad Fo uh, Conrad Gaim, where uh, CERN lock seeds, specifically the Dongri, Matsubukri, and Durian lock seeds, were originally released, you know, as Gatchman Ken toys. Those ones did eventually get deluxe releases in the form of premium Bandai sets. Oh, also, and the Kurumi lock seed. So, uh, for the six shift cards that are currently only available as Ken toy and Gatchman. As far as I go, my prediction is that I do think that they're going to release deluxe versions later down the line. Just because, as you can see, these stickers here are non metallic and you know, this is a case where one is a Kanto and one is a Gachapon, but both of them have these flat stickers. As well as, you know, the lack of springs, so the springs are joined here. And the rest of the joint here. And then, you know, what I think is my biggest clue would be, you know, this area here, which, as I said earlier, if this were a deluxe version, you'd be able to see the kind of engine parts inside. So, while personally I do think that these will eventually get deluxe releases, for now, nothing has been confirmed. So, if you want to get these, I would say, you know, try get them in this format, you know, pretty soon, you know, if you can find them. Which shouldn't be too tough. But yeah, I would say, you know, go for these right now, because it's currently unknown if there will be deluxe releases. But if you do pick them up, there are definitely great additions to a shift car collection. Because as usual, they add fun new sounds to your roleplay toys. So, thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and check my channel for more videos, as well as my Facebook page. And for now, this is KRX50, riding off.